What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Georgia Bassmaster channel. It's a little sunny out here. I actually left my hat at home. I have this straw hat I might end up wearing just for sight fishing. But today's video partner is Carl's Bait and Tackle. I ended up ordering these little Tokyo rigs and I, I put I put a, a Guggen Trench Hog on the back of the Tokyo rig. And I'm out here still catching some late spawning bass on beds. I actually see a bed right now. So I need to go ahead and get to fishing that. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Leave this video a like. And we're about to catch us a bed fish. Let's go to it. That sure doesn't look like a bass bed right there. Let me throw this bad boy in there. Right there. That looks too much like a bass bed. Not to be a bass bed. Oh, it is a bass bed. I just saw one in it. Just saw one in it. She's just chilling in there. She's just chilling in the bed. She'll chase after it every now and then. There she is. There she is. She got it. I got her off the bed. Man, I love bed fishing. Yes. All right, guys, I just caught, I just caught this little bass right here on the bed right here. I'm gonna see if I can show you the bed. It's a little hard to see. There's a little light spot in the water right there, and that's exactly where she was bedding. I kept on throwing this Guggen Trench Hog right back on her. She finally swiped it up. Her mouth has got a red spot on it, so she's been caught before. So we're going to go ahead and let her back. And she went straight back to the bed. But that's what I love about bed fishing, guys. I literally, I fished for that bass for about uh, two minutes. Got her to hit, and I got her on the Tokyo rig I got from shopcarls.com. Uh, Carl's Bait and Tackle has some little rigs, some Tokyo rigs. I've never used one before today. Figured I would try it out on a Guggen Trench Hog, and I've caught two bass in five minutes. So let's go ahead and get back to fishing. That's a bite. Oh, and he flopped back in, but you guys saw it, right? <laughs> that was a bass. <laughs> that was a uh, pretty cool, not gonna lie. That's a bite. Gotcha. Ah, oh, spotted bass. Pretty good. One. Spotted bass on bed. Let's get you back in the water. Squirt and see. Ah, oh, yeah. Tokyo rig is killing them, guys. I see a bass right here. Is he bedding now? Or is he just running away from me? Oh, that's his bed right there. I'm about to get you, sucker. That's your bed. I'm working this bass and he's working me. Oh, he's, he knows down on it. He knows down on it. I'm about to get him. I'm about to get him. Oh, son of a gun. He come off. Oh, man. Okay, I'm in his bed. I'm in his bed. He knows down on it again. I might catch him. Got you. Got him. 
Oh, he come off right here at the boat. All right, bye, guys, that was a bed fish. It was about a three pounder. I hooked him twice and the second time he come off at the boat. So, ah, oh, man. <laughs> I was trying to boat flip him, but that was pretty fun. Sorry for wearing the glasses on you guys, but the sun is absolutely killing me. I will say this, I think the Tokyo rig, I was skeptical at first, but uh, slowly growing on me. It's my first time ever using it, but I really like the presentation that it gives and bed fishing, it kind of keeps your bait suspended just a couple inches, which sometimes makes a world of difference on whether or not that bass is gonna pick it up or not. And so far, I've loved it. So if you guys have never used a Tokyo rig, Definitely try one out, but uh, I love it so far. On to the next spot. Let's see if we can find any big ones. That's a bite. Gotcha. Oh man, you tore my trench hog. I had like caught like four or five fish on that thing. And then you come along. We're getting into some good spawning territory. Make sure all the appendages are pulled. I see a couple of fish beds over here. Is that a bass? If that's a bass, it's a good one. Oh, yep. Got you. Right on bed. <laughs> oh, I pulled him off the bed, guys. I pulled him off the bed. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. If you guys can see that little white spot right there, that's the bed where she was at. I see all kind of little bluegill. Man, I love bed fishing. So we're gonna get a release. And she'll swim right back to it. Just got her off bed. Sight fished her for about a minute and a half, two minutes. All right, just got another bed fish. I sight fished her for about two or three minutes. Finally got her to pick up the old Tokyo rig. Guggen trench hog, so we're gonna get her release. Had her nose down at it. I had her nose down at it. Her bed is right there. Ooh, she bit it again. She's getting irritated. Got her. Got you, sucker. All right, guys. Woo! Hopefully this is not my last bed fish of the day. I'm running out of time. I gotta get back home. But I'll go ahead and switch you guys to the camera. All right, guys, don't make fun of me in my straw hat, but it was like, I left my fishing hats at home. So this was the only thing I had to bed fish with. But I worked this one for about 10 minutes. It probably wasn't worth it considering that it's maybe two pounds 
but I did see a couple of four and fives over there, but I mean, they were not interested at all. I couldn't even figure out where their beds were. They were making those giant circles. So I'll come back and get those in a few weeks, but let's go ahead and get a release on this bad boy. Our bed was about right there. And right now I got my trolling motor in like two and I am just cruising down the bank looking to see if I see bass beds. And uh, I did see about a six, seven pounder. I saw two about seven pounders and uh, they were so spooky and skittish. They, they weren't even locked on a bed yet. So I wasn't even fooling with trying to get those. But the Tokyo rig seems to be doing great. Uh, I'm definitely uh, enjoying it so far. Man, that sun is getting to a spot where it's really hard to see in the water. If you guys know anything about sight fishing, you're pretty much limited to the sun directly down upon you. And once it gets sideways, you really don't see any fish, but I'll see you guys here in a second. All right, everybody, if you stuck around to the end of the video, thank you guys so much. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers, so should be getting that done by the end of the year. I'm uh, currently outside of my boat and I'm thinking about getting an upgrade. They have some big four and five horsepower electric motors I can put on the back of this John boat because most of the lakes I fish are electric only. I do have a, a gas 20 horsepower in the garage, but what do you guys think about me getting a four horse electric motor? It's a 48 volt motor to put in the back and it's pretty big. Like it actually looks like a five horse gas motor. So let me know what you think about that. If you haven't used the Tokyo rig, I would definitely add that to the tackle box. I think that thing did some really good today. But we're gonna go ahead, I got the boat charging. I should be going back out on the lake here in a couple days, do some more bed fishing, some spawn fishing. It's getting pretty close to being over, but I saw the crappy gathering, so should have some crappy videos coming soon. So, till the next time, we'll see you guys later. Peace.